Hey guys, welcome back to some more Critter Captain 2017 and part 71 of the Road to World Number 1 with England. And today we have the first test match against Zimbabwe. This is the squad that we are going to go with. A couple of changes in there, but mostly... Um, as you were, obviously Jimmy Anderson retired in the last episode if you hadn't seen it uh, Stephen Finn's going to come in um, and be our number one bowler basically, he was brilliant against the Australians and yeah, I think he deserves a chance in the home series uh, against Zimbabwe as well as um, Pakistan and yeah, that'll be good and we've also brought in this guy, James Singh from Essex. Uh, he's been playing in the ODI squad and, you know, generally has been very, very good in his career so far. He's in good form uh, domestically, so I think we'll bring him in, we'll give him a go. So, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I need to go ahead and do some of the, um, I don't know, what do you call it, coaching, I guess. Uh and we'll go with that and then we have the first test match against Zimbabwe first time I've ever played Zimbabwe um, on Cricket Captain uh, so Cook and Duck at Wood at 3 with Root at 4 and then Fogden at 5, Bairstow 6 Stokes at 7, Wokes at 8 um, Singh at 9, we'll try him there and Wilkinson will be the man to miss out, unfortunately for him. Stephen Finn going to be the opening bowler. Chris Walk's going to be the second bowler. Or should we swap that round? Um, make him the second bowler. And Chris Walks has now got the honour of opening the ball. And I think that's a pretty strong s squad. We'll see what Singh's like um, as a player. And, yeah, we'll bat first. We'll try and bat them out of the game. Hopefully you guys are good. Still enjoying the series. I can't promise that this is going to continue by daily. Um, obviously, FIFA uh, comes out on Friday. I'm hoping to get it Thursday, which is today. Um, so obviously, I'm recording this in advance. Uh, so, yeah, if, if you don't see a lot of Critter Captain around the channel, then don't worry. Um, I am still going to be doing it, but uh, it might not be as regular. Delang to duck it early on. It's it's very laggy uh, for me. I, I don't know about you guys, but uh, that was a, a laggy start. Now, hopefully, we can get Alistair Cook to his um, 51st test century. And he'll equal the record. Duck it gone for 46. That's disappointing for him. Lunch interval on day one. Um, yeah, this is really terrible, actually. The, the highlights, 50 for Alistair Cook though um, yeah it's just really laggy I, I don't quite know why that is it's nothing to do with OBS it is literally what I'm seeing on the screen so before people say oh it's your recording software and, and stuff it's not um, I don't really know why it is but T and Valon Day 1 151 for 1 that's not you know the best rate of, of scoring but we're just settling in to the summer um, probably a bit of complacency creeping in rain stops play uh, which is annoying but yeah, Alistair Cook into the 90s now he got out in the 90s a couple of times in the ashes can he get to his 51st test century to equal the record set by Ta Sachin Tendulkar let's go next ball no run and again and again 99, oh dear, the famous 99. Oh dear. He must be so nervous, bless him. Oh, it's agonising, isn't it? There, he's done it. Alistair Cook has equaled the record of uh, test centuries. That is his 51st test century. Goodness me, what a player he's been. He's 17,500 runs. He'll have his eye on, on 20,000 before his career is done. And what a partnership uh, from these two at the start of day two. Um, but Cook will be looking uh, to break that record, get it for himself, and, and become the best batsman of all time if he's not already that. Um, Certainly stats-wise he is. Dominic Wood 
has got his sixth test match century from 18 innings. He's another one that could go on and break a lot of records. What a start for him in his test career. We'll go over 300 now uh, with the loss of only, just, only, only the one wicket. We'll try and be a bit more proactive now uh, and push on a little bit. Oh, what a shame. Cook gone for 132, but a brilliant performance from him. Joe Root, after quite a disappointing year last year, will want to uh, bounce back and, and get a get a century um, in the first test match of the summer. Zimbabwe take the new ball. Joe Root already into the 50s. That's edge for four. Very, very lucky there. I'm trying to skip over the highlights just so there's not too much lag. 4.67 for two. Uh, Dominic Wood heading towards his double century and he gets it in due course. It's his highest ever test score now. And uh, i tell you what, Dominic Wood stumbling on him last summer was definitely a, a brilliant thing. I think that might be out though. And it is. Dominic Wood gone for 240. Michael Fogden comes to the crease now. Going to attack a little bit. 100 for Joe Root, brilliant to see. Can we get 600 in the first innings of the summer? Mm, Fogden gone for one, the only sort of big failure so far. Ooh, Bairstow gone as well. Oh, was that no ball? Mm, just didn't carry, it's the, it's the lag, it's really, really distracting. We might even turn highlights off this match. I'm really sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll be fixed for the next episode. Just that lag is really annoying me. Joe Root gone for 122. We're going to get to 600 and then declare. Oh, Stokes gone as well. So we are going to declare now. Uh, 597 for 4. Um, oh, Wokes gets a wicket in the first over. Shall we just watch the wickets? I feel like uh, having no highlights is, is pretty bad. So we'll go wickets only. So we know it's going to be a wicket when it happens, but um, at least we'll be able to see it happen. So here's a wicket coming. And that's Burl gone. He's out for one. And now Zimbabwe 7 for two. So Chris walks off to a good start after a, a bad end to last year. We'll see how James Singh does. Stokes in Amua. He's gone for 11. Stokes gets his first wicket of the summer, which is good. Uh, Singh hasn't done anything yet. Team of on day three. It's 42 for three. I'm going to bring Mason Crane in now. He had a, a good year last year. Um, very, very impressive bowling from him. We'll bring Singh in now with Walk. See what kind of partnership they can bring up. James Singh now. And Mon's gone for 56. That's Singh's first test wicket. Could be first of many could be the only one he ever gets Walks gets his third wicket, Kaya gone for four, it's now 102 for five, this is great stuff from us here, Walks now to Williams he's gone as well for 41 this is really good stuff and that is the end of day three 124 for six and uh, we lead by 100, uh, sorry 478, so Walks and single start day four and yes, he's gone for seven. Singh gets his second wicket. Now walks to Mumba. Cotton bold. He's gone for three. This is great stuff. Singh to Delang now. Edged and gone. He's out for a duck. Singh gets his third wicket. Really good start for him. And walks gets his fifth. Cotton bold. He's gone for four. They're all out for 131. Very, very interesting. Um, start for Zimbabwe. They're, they're just not good enough for Test cricket, are they? Finn gets his first wicket. Chari gone for three. And this is just a good confidence booster, really, before the Pakistan series starts, um, which is exactly what we need uh, because Pakistan are a good side. You know, they they beat us soundly home and away last time, so we need to come back. Um, and do something good against them and get those two points back in the road to world number one. But uh, we still got to win this match, still got to get eight wickets. I'm assuming uh, Zimbabwe won't go and get 400 runs, but they're, they're going quite nicely here and almost 200 for two here. So, yeah, Teenable day four, the 216 for two. 
255 behind that can definitely get back into this if they if they bat hard and could even get a draw out of it which would be an embarrassment for us but uh, what a result it would be for them look at these two centurions here Stokes now to Burl he's gone for 118 so Stokes gets his first wicket and that's a good time to get it we're gonna bring in Mason Crane now with uh, Singh and the new ball is available end of day four 303 for three ha <sighs> This isn't good. We need to get these out. Sing now to Williams. This could be a run out. Oh, it is a run out. Moore gone for 155. The two Centurions out now. So surely we've got to try and rattle through this uh, attack. We only lead by 132, so we've got to be very careful here. Stokes now to Williams. Gone. He's out for 31. And now Stokes to Mumbat. Gone. He's out for a duck. Stokes now to DeLang. He's gone as well. This is good stuff. Really, really good stuff. I'm going to bring Crane in. Crane's been disappointing. He hasn't had a wicket yet. Uh, Singh hasn't had the best um, second wing innings at least. Can he prove us wrong here? He's got a wicket. He's gone for 28. Um, Crane now to... Masakadza for the final wicket and he does get it, he's gone for 19 and we've won by an innings and 72 runs, brilliant performance from Dominic Wood and Alistair Cook of course becoming um, well equaling the test centuries record uh, and that's that's that so if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below check out me FIFA stuff uh, that'll be on the, the channel either today or tomorrow uh, there might already be some videos out so go and check it check it out if you get the chance I really would appreciate it I've got a new football manager series out the palace push go and check that out uh, if you if you haven't so far really would mean a lot for me um, and obviously the F1 stuff is continuing really really enjoying recording that so it would mean a lot if you could go and check it out and give it a like anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye